All right, everybody. I got an unfortunate for me, great for you vehicle. This is going to be a mechanics special. This is a 2004 Volkswagen Passat. Uh, it actually has low miles on it. It only has 101,621 miles. So anyway, the sor sorry tale is this. I was driving this car around yesterday. Ran good, trans shifted fine. Um, I don't know what happened, but something let go in the top part of the motor. It doesn't knock. I thought actually what it was, it was a, I thought it was a timing belt. Because here, listen to this. Let me crank it for you. Maybe you can hear it. You hear it? It's not like actually moving the cylinders. So something seems like it broke. But I pulled the front timing cover off. And you can see, you'll see when we go out and look at it. The timing belt's not broken, so I don't know whether something went wrong with the cam. I don't know. But anyway, I'm selling it as a mechanic special. I'm selling it so it has to be towed. Um, yeah, basically, that's about it. So it's a great for you because it's going to be a nice, cheap car if you're handy with fixing things. It sucks for me because I'm probably going to lose a ton of money on it. But that the brakes. Let's see. We've got power windows. This thing's got airbags all over it, too. Oops, wrong one. There's your right rear. Here's your right front. All right, we'll swing around around here. Left rear. Here's your left front window. There we go, and up, no problem. Oh, it's even got a uh, power sunroof. You can see that works the way it's supposed to. It even has the uh, tilt feature. See, I love these, it has actually the knob like this. And there it goes up, all right, and then back down, and of course, boom, it's got the cover. Ah, oh, it's got an aftermarket Kenwood AM FM stereo with CD player, air conditioning, heated cloth seats, cruise control, it's got the driver information center. Oh, check this out, this is kind of unusual. Usually on like a Volkswagen, it's more than like five or six years old. See this little red thing here? All right, the little red, uh, let me get in here away from the sun. A little display thing here. That's usually like all, like half of the uh, numbers don't work. This one's in perfect condition. So there are some good stuff about this vehicle. i uh, turn the keys off so the battery doesn't go but dead. All right. Pop that open here. Uh, the interior is pretty decent shape. The exterior is okay. It does have one cigarette burn, looks like right there. And one right there. Again, not that big of a deal. And just so you know, I love the Passat because it's got the uh, four-speed automatic or five-speed automatic transmission, which I think is better. It gets a little better gas mileage. Just so you guys know, this has the Volkswagen 1.8 liter um, engine in here. There's, here's your timing belt. As you can see, that's on it. It doesn't even look like it slipped a gear or anything. But, you know, once again, this is the way I'm going to be selling it. So, just so you're aware of that. Okay, let's look at the front is the worst part of this car. Looks like it took a little bit of a hit right there. Underneath is a little busted up, but not too bad. Coming around this side, it actually looks like it's got some good tires on the front. Nice, clean aluminum alloy wheels. You can see the body's in great shape on this side. Let's take a look, see inside. Here's your passenger side. Nice, clean. Here's your door. Door frame, and you can see the door itself in very nice shape, no rust. All right, let's check out the back. Oh, here's your uh, roof on this side. It's got deep tinted glass, but it was done aftermarket. The side windows aren't so bad. The rear window stinks. I don't know who did the job, but I don't think they did a very good job. Here's the back seat of the car. Yeah, this would just be a great little project for someone. Like I said, this thing has at least six, maybe eight airbags. Rear tire actually looks really good. Little scrapes and bumps on the uh, bumper. Okay, this was a city car, just so you know. So that's probably why it's a, a little bit on the busted up side. There you can see it's got a split fold down rear seat. You see the trunk is in nice shape, it looks like, at least on the inside. It's not bad. 
You can see the bubbles in the rear tent. That's what I was talking about. Personally, I would just take that off. Looks like it took a little shot on the left rear quarter panel. Somebody did some repair to it. Can't say they did a great job, but you know, what the heck. Again, like I said, this was a city car. So for a city car, this one's in actually pretty darn good shape. There's your door jam. There's your left side and the back. There's your door. Very nice, clean condition. Lots and lots and lots of good stuff on this car. And like I said, it'll be a nice little uh, project for someone. Now you fix the top half of the motor on this, you're going to have yourself a nice car, good low mileage. Like I said, the trans was good. Looks like, yeah, this is part of that front hit here. All right, let's close the hood. There you go. Yeah, a couple minor scratches, but no big deal. Overall, like I said, this is not, you know, a, a train wreck. Well, actually, I guess it is. It's a train wreck for me. But here, let's just take it one more walk around this baby. have it folks so if you're handy with tools you know how to work on the farfig nugan this might be the right vehicle for you thanks